Where we live now in Southern California, this snake is new to us. It's the gopher snake. Come here, bud. Come here. Ah. And although we don't have much footage of this guy, we've seen them several times in the RV park that we currently live at. Now, you might be wondering what I'm doing here picking food out of my salad for dinner, and it will be obvious in a moment. Pocket Gopher! I've named this little guy Frederick. When we started to feed the birds, we noticed right away that this guy would pop up wherever we would put the bird seed down, and he's remarkably able to, I guess, figure out where the bird seed is. Since noticing him coming up exactly where we feed the birds, I've looked it up, and they do figure out where to eat their food by their sense of smell. I thought maybe he could sense the vibration or hear the vibration of the bird's feet or the bird's pecking on the ground to eat the seeds, and he knew how to come up that way. But when you look them up online, they're actually really interesting critters, and they're the way that they manage their burrows underground, and I don't know, they seem really smart in how they manage to get by, and they don't need any water either because all of their vegetation has enough water so that they don't ever have to come all the way out of the ground to get water. It's very cool. And on the topic of water, they make drainage tunnels so that if it does rain, like here we don't very get much rain very often, but when it does, they could easily get flooded out. And they actually purposely have drainage tunnels in their, R in their RVs, <laughs> in their burrows that they dig out purposefully. And I could just watch this guy for a half hour every time he comes out of the ground. He's just so cute. He reminds me of my hamsters that I had when I was a kid. And as you'll see in this little clip, he makes great entertainment for the dog as well. One of our dogs will love to sit by the door and watch him as he eats his food. And just, I don't know, I'm sure she can smell him. I'm sure she can see him. And how cute. And I also considered that maybe it's more than one gopher, since it covers a pretty good expanse. It covers at least two RV sites and then some extra territory as well. But again, when I looked it up online, they're very solitary creatures and they have a pretty extensive network under the ground. So it is just one little critter. And when I'm not hand feeding it greens and peanuts from my own kitchen... This is an example of him eating bird seed right from the ground, caught on GoPro footage. And I'm going to put it on fast forward. You don't have to wait the whole nine minutes it took for him to eat this. I'll put it on fast forward for you. Enough on gopher snakes and pocket gophers. I'm going to go ahead and grab up my GoPro and go inside. And lest you think that he doesn't have friends, he does. You'll see in the last picture him and this bunny rabbit. But he's also quite comfortable around all of the birds that eat seeds, as well as our ducks and the squirrels. So he's in good company with all of our other little park critters. Thanks for watching.